So IC Vault, think of LastPass on the IC. A vault for all your passwords and secure nodes stored on the IC, accessible on all your devices just by logging in with your internet identity. Sounds easy, right? But with end-to-end -end encryption, all data is client-side encrypted in the user's browser. No part of the IC can see any clear text. Interesting, but now comes more. Despite this end-to-end -end encryption, we have seamless device syncing through the internet identity. As you know, for example, QR code scanning just to add a new device from your normal messenger or something like that. No, you, you have already done that kind of stuff when you set up your II, right? So you should not have to do it again. And you don't. You can decrypt the vault on any device on which you can log in with your internet identity. <clears throat> That's the magic of the vault. And that's not trivial. II alone doesn't give you that because II doesn't allow to share a secret between devices. Wow, I must think. Enough to win a hackathon, right? We think so too, but we have even more perks for you. Now, listen to this. IC Vault is built on a service called Keysync. Keysync is an open application, uh, it's open. It's generic, it's an open service, and any application such as, for example, uh, Open Chat or IC Drive can use it for their own E2E encryption to encrypt chats, files, and so on. Even Plug Wallet can use it. For example, if you set, if you install Plug Wallet on a new device, then you have to re enter your mnemonic phrase, currently at least, but not with Keysync anymore. The phrase can be synced seamlessly in the background. Adding a new device with keysync is as simple as logging in once with the internet identity. And in case you asked, different applications are isolated from each other. They cannot steal secrets from each other. And the vault uses deterministic encryption for the keys in its internal key value store, which makes it searchable on the canister side. Let's say you have a huge vault and you only want one entry, then the search happens in the canister and you don't have to download the entire world. So now let's skip to a, to a demo. Share a different screen. Here, I have two windows. On the left window, is one device, a phone, let's say, on the right is a laptop. Um, I'm already logged in with the II. Now I register each of the two devices. What happens is on each device, the public key pair is created and the public key is uploaded to the key sync canister. Now one device has to seed the whole thing. Seeding means a shared or to be shared secret is generated. It is then encrypted for the public, various public keys and upload it to the keysync canister. If the other oh, device now is already seeded, it notices that and we handle the race condition that's there. Um, now, syncing does two things, downloads the encrypted shared secret to the device and um, decrypts it. And it also re-encrypts it for all other devices that have maybe registered in the meantime. So now if I do the sync on the other device, it should download and decrypt the same shared secret. And now I can use that shared secret to go to the vault and enter, for example, some entry into the key value store. The application name is the key here. The pair of user and password is the value. And internet computer seems to be slow, but maybe on the other device, I can already refresh my view of the vault and the same entry should pop up. So the key sync is really about syncing between various devices. It is not about syncing between um, or sharing between different users. That of course can be done as well, but it's part of the application. And here we see the same entry became visible on the other device as well. All right, thank you.